1 2.2 recently dropped and a lot of people consider it as one of the best AI video generators out there. In this video we're taking a close hands-on look at the latest version of this open source video model and compare it to some of its top competitors. We'll test its features and find out how it really performs. So what exactly is 1 2.2 promising that's different from everything else out there? First, we get solid videos that's crisp, coherent, and detailed, which means you don't need to be an expert to get great videos. Second, and this is huge, 1.2.2 has incredibly advanced prompt understanding and it has been trained on much more data. Third, they have baked in VFX capabilities. We're talking fire, smoke, particles, global illumination, all without needing special techniques or workarounds. And finally, they're claiming improved realistic human movements. But here's the thing, specs don't matter if the results aren't there. So I put together a comprehensive test including various categories, multiple prompts and I'm going to show you everything. Let's start with the ultimate test, complex human motion. I used this exact prompt and compared the results with the best AI models like VO3 and Kling 2.1. Here is what Kling gave us. The movement is there, the man does a flip, but we don't see him spinning on his head. Overall, the character feels consistent and the video is in slow motion, which is what we tend to get most of the time with some of these models. The movement of both the character and the clothes turned out great. Moving on to VO3, here it does better with the overall scene composition, but the actual breakdancing moves, they don't look that good. We see that it has at least tried to follow our prompt and make the dancer spin on his head. The way the cloths move around as the character rotates and lands looks great. However, the arms and legs disappear and morph in new places. It looks bad. Remember that we started with a complex human motion and most models have a hard time with that. And here's 1.2.2. In this video, the head spin actually looks like a real head spin. The video is not in slow motion. We see a ton of movement in this 5 second video. The body mechanics make sense but the arms and hands feel a bit off. We also see that it has followed our prompt and it hasn't tried to take any shortcuts. I like how it has generated spectators for our breakdancer. Lastly, the clothes aren't as good as Kling, but I like how his t-shirt drops down as he rotates his body. This feels more realistic. When you see them side by side, you notice that every model has its strengths and weaknesses, but 1.2.2 wins this round and it did a better job than VO3 surprisingly. Next up, camera movements. Here I tried a crane shot where the camera moves from above and comes down, from a high angle to eye level. I chose a farmer's market with a lot of people, I got some really great videos for this example, and here is the one from Kling AI. For this video, Kling gives us a nice view over the market with a lot of people. The camera starts from a high angle as we rode, but it tilts down and rotates subtly to the right, instead of coming down to eye level as I had wished. The camera motion is smooth and we got a pretty realistic video from Kling for this one. There is a person that appears out of nowhere towards the end of the video around the red stall, but besides that, the video we got is great. However, this test was about the camera motion we prompted and although it gave us a crane shot, the camera movement didn't really follow our prompt. Moving on to a better result, this one here is from VO3. Now this is what I mean by a crane shot moving from a high angle down to eye level. Isn't this a beautiful shot? So VO3 did really great here, we start from a frame that gives us an overview of the market and then it comes down lower and we see people passing by as we enter the eye level shot. The woman in the middle smiles and looks to the side as she approaches the camera in a fluid natural motion. The vegetables and flowers look realistic and maintain the same appearance as the camera comes down and we get a better look. The overall human motions in this video have been great and it's no wonder that VO3 is currently one of the best AI video models out there. Now let's see what we got from one 2.2. Alright, so the camera starts from a high angle, showing the colorful fabric roofs, beautiful, and then it slowly comes down to the eye level I ask for, the colors and the scene look great, and we see a lot of people in the video. Besides the woman moving backwards, I am surprised by how good this turned out. The people in the video seem to interact with the environment, and they don't feel like the usual fillers that you get with most AI video models. They are not just standing there, but move different body parts and feel like they are living in the environment. Remember that this video is about testing the camera motion, which turned out great compared to 
link 2.1. Now let's test multi-object coherence with a complex scene. For this one, I went with a busy street in Tokyo at night with reflecting signs on wet pavement. I also mentioned people with umbrellas and cars passing. This is another example where AI videos usually fall apart because there are too many moving elements at the same time. For this one, let's start with VO3. In this video, we got pretty much everything we asked for. The video starts with the camera moving forward slowly as people pass by and appear from the sides. I don't see anyone walking backwards, which does happen from time to time when a lot of people are generated in the same video. The cars are passing by smoothly and they maintain their appearance even though people are overlapping them when walking by in the video. There are neon signs as described in the prompt and the reflection of the wet pavement looks very realistic. Now moving on to Kling 2.1 we can start to compare the video with the prompt we wrote. We do indeed have people walking with umbrellas, we have the neon signs, the cars and the wet pavement. The reflection is decent compared to the last video but it mainly depends on the angle of the camera and the other elements of the video. We have a couple of people walking on the left side of the video and we have even more on the right side across the street. Most of it looks consistent including the cars as they drive by and reappear in various angles. Overall another great video with realistic motion and great quality. Lastly, we have the video generated by One 2.2. Now, for some reason, the One model gave me time lapses and sped up videos for this prompt. I haven't been able to figure out why it did that for this specific video or prompt. Maybe it was trained on time lapses for some of the keywords in the prompt. I don't know. After seven attempts, I finally got one that was at normal speed. Even though it's not the best out of the bunch, it still followed our prompt. There are people walking with umbrellas and it's night and the wet pavement reflects the neon signs. We also got some cars in the background but not so much motion from them. What really stands out to me is the steam that rises from the street food stall. It adds another dimension to the video and another thing which was better with 12.2 is the pouring rain and the water droplets hitting the pavement and puddles of water. I didn't describe the rain but the AI model understood that by the wet pavement and people with umbrellas. Now VO3 is one of the best AI models if not the best and it has the ability to generate videos with sound and you can even make your characters speak in the video. So I was expecting the results to be better. With that said one 2.2 is a free open source model and it did great considering everything. Finally let's test the VFX capabilities of these models. I went with an adventure and fantasy theme for the next set of videos. The prompt I used for these videos was wizard casting fire spell in dark form forest, magical particle swirling, smoke and embers, dramatic lightning. Now let's see which model gives us the best results for this kind of video starting with Kling AI. Kling gives us fire and sparkles bursting out of the hands of our wizard but it looks more like an orange blob than actual flames. The particles are there but they don't interact with the environment. Moving on we have the results from one 2.2. Here we get a mystical video in the forest with the wizard in the middle holding a wand and performing a fire spell. We get both sparkles and fire just like we asked for and one 2.2 did a better job at putting it together in the video. Now we have parts of the flame and smoke turning into sparkles which look better. The wizard's long white beard looks a bit fake but the lightning is incredibly good. Especially when the wand is moved in circles and the warm light is reflected on our character's face and rope. The different spots of flame around the trees and the grass look decent but they don't spread like normal firewood. This seems more like a friendly fire, no pun intended. Overall the video we got is great in my opinion and the way the wizard swings the wand feels very real together with the trail of smoke as it disappears. The next video looks like something out of a cinematic for a video game. This is by VO3 and the results are just incredible. We have a wizard with shining blue eyes wearing a blue robe and holding a staff with a big diamond crystal on top. He swings his staff and creates an explosion of fire and sparkles. The expression of his face changes according to his 
these movements and the quality of the video is great. We even got the correct amount of fingers which isn't a problem anymore like it used to but it still makes me happy. Even though the video is more of a 3D render than a realistic style, I still like this video the most compared to the others. Now as a bonus, I generated this one with audio. This is without any editing, it generated the video together with the audio. And if you didn't already know as I mentioned earlier, VO3 is capable of creating entire videos with dialogue and sound effects which gives creators endless possibilities when generating videos. And if you want to try out different AI video models and tools without multiple subscriptions, try OpenArt. This is where I generated all of these videos. They have a ton of different AI models and they are very quick to update and give access to any new ones that are released, including creating consistent characters, images, videos, and editors without multiple subscriptions, I strongly recommend OpenArt. I have included a link in the description below if you want to check it out. Okay, let's move on. So text to video was impressive, but image to video is where things get really interesting. This is where we can control exactly what we start with and see how each model executes our vision. Starting with this portrait, I use the prompt, person slowly turns head left to right, natural blinking, subtle smile appearing. This is the video we got from 1.2.2. We have our character looking to the side twice and he stays consistent once he looks back at the camera. The eyes didn't turn out that good when he looks to the side, his skin and the ripples that appear when he smiles look very realistic though. And here is the second variation I got using the same prompt. The eyes are a little bit better in this one but it's still not convincing when he looks to the side. Besides that everything else looks good in my opinion. Another impressive thing is that the quality and the style of the image stays the same for the entire video which sometimes can change when turning images into video with AI. Now going over to VO3 we immediately see better eyes when our male character character looks to the side. The micro expressions are amazing and the emotions are very realistic. This is just incredible and a clear winner for this example. The consistency of the character, the fluid head motion, everything is just perfect. Now a trick for some of these videos that turn out in slow motion, you can just increase the speed until it looks better. I usually increase the speed by 25 to 40%. It all depends on the video being generated and your vision. This one here is made by Kling 2.1 and it's also better than the video we got from 1 2.2 when the character looks to the side and overall it's more crisp and detailed. The character maintains the same appearance as he turns his head to the side and back. Now when I think about it, none of these gave us a video that followed our prompt all the way. And sometimes when that happens it means we need to rewrite our prompt and maybe give a better description. Here is another attempt using the one 2.2 and now I wrote person turns his head left then turns his head to the right and kept the rest of the prompt as it was. Now I got this instead it's not as consistent as before but it is much better and it does follow our description instead of just turning his head to one side like the videos before. So remember to double check your prompts when something feels off before you give up. Another thing that's important when turning images into videos is the first frame that you upload and its quality. Now this image here was generated by Midjourney and even though Midjourney has its own upscaling options there are better alternatives out there. One of my favorite upscaling methods is the refined upscaling that is available inside OpenArt. This maintains the same composition and appearance of the first image but using AI it adds and improves the details which makes your images much better. Next let's complete an action sequence. Let's start with this athlete mid jump and the prompt is complete the jumping motion landing gracefully his short flowing naturally. These are the results we got starting with clean AI. This one looks decent the video is at a normal pace and our character jumps multiple times until he suddenly sits down on the sand. At the end we got some deformities and morphing. I don't really know what happened there but the clean AI model decided to give up there. The rest of the video until that point looks good. I like how the sand is flowing with the wind and the way the sunlight reflects on his skin creating both highlights and shadows. This one is generated with 1 2.2. We got a slow motion video with a beautiful landing. The sand is jumping up in front of him as both feet land in the sand. The motion is beautiful and consistent throughout the video. You see his right leg overlapping his left leg and it doesn't lead to any deformities or altered appearance which can happen when objects overlap each other in AI videos. The 
physics looks great and we see a natural landing and pose when the upper body of our character leans forward and the hands are extended forward to protect him in case of a fall. The physics of the shorts he is wearing are wrinkling naturally, it is responding to the fall and landing of our character. This is a really good video and it does indeed challenge VO3 and clean AI. Lastly, here is the video by VO3. Now, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to Snowball AI. I invest a lot of credits when making these videos and I hope you like them. A way of showing support is by subscribing and more than 90% of my viewers have still not subscribed to my channel. Make sure you're not one of them. Now, going back to this video, our character lands immediately with both feet on the sand and he jumps up a couple times and kicking the sand all around him. The cloth physics of his shorts looks incredible and responds to the movements he makes and he maintains the same appearance when raising his head and saying his line. Don't forget to subscribe to Snowball AI. What's worth mentioning is that it costs around 10 to 20 cents or 0.2 dollars to generate a video with 1 2.2. The same video would cost 3 to 4 dollars with VO3. This means VO3 costs around 15 to 30 times more compared to 1. Now it's important to remember that VO3 is better overall and you can generate the video with audio and have the characters speak. With that said, if you're working on a project with multiple scenes, it's good to consider an open source model like 1.2.2 for some of the scenes that doesn't require a more expensive AI model like VO3. And as I have shown you in this video, one does indeed do an incredible job and in some cases even better than the more expensive models. I always root for the open source models and I'm really happy to see such a great model made public and open sourced and available for everyone. Now, all of these videos were created inside OpenArt as I mentioned and it has been my go-to platform for AI video testing. What I love about OpenArt is that they have everything, not just the latest AI video models like 1.2.2, but also tools for creating consistent character models, generating multiple consistent characters in one scene, and basically every cutting edge AI workflow you can imagine. If you are looking for a great place to get access to all of these tools without juggling multiple subscriptions, I highly recommend checking out OpenArt. You can find the link in the description below. And if this video helps you understand the current state of AI, video generation make sure to subscribe because this technology is moving fast and i will be here to test every major update what did you think of these results which models surprised you the most let me know in the comments below and thank you for watching bye bye